Harkness Screens, Silver 3D Screen Installation. Before you start, Silver 3D screens are more prone to installation damage due to the coating technology used. Failure to take appropriate care during installation can result in screens quickly becoming damaged beyond acceptable use. What not to do. When removing a screen, ensure that the end cap on the tube is removed carefully and all screws from the end cap are removed. Failure to do so could leave a screw in the tube, which could tear the screen. Harkness Silver screens are designed to be installed vertically and not flown over the seats unless a vertical installation is not possible. Where installation over the seats is needed, the screen should be supported and lifted slowly into position to avoid creasing and damage. You should always seek manufacturer's guidance prior to install. Care should be taken when using springs to ensure that these are placed through the eyelet holes. Due to tensioning, failure to do this could result in the screen being torn. Best Practice for Silver Screen Installs Ensure the auditorium is clean and dry and at a temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and the screen has been allowed sufficient time to acclimatize to ambient temperature. Recommended time is 24 hours. Screens should be removed from their packaging with care and supported with flat hands used when lifting to prevent damaging the screen surface. At least four people are required to carry the screen in its packing tube or crate into the auditorium and to install the screen onto the frame. Screens more than 20 feet high will need six to eight people to carry and install it. If the screen is to be installed in an existing auditorium, remove the old screen. Move all static and moving masking away from the frame to prevent dust transferring from the masking onto the screen. Take the screen into the auditorium and position horizontally at least eight feet out from frame so the top of screen is at the audience right side. Look for rolled direction markings on foam and double check that the screen top is at the audience right of the frame with ties at top to ensure screen opens out and unrolls correctly. If using a metal extension tube or trolley, remove excess length from the steel core and drill two holes in the top end of the steel core to enable the screen to be lifted into position using a guide rope. Lift the screen using the rope and metal pole only, supporting the screen with flat hands as it is lifted, taking care not to grab or twist the screen surface. Maneuver the screen into position and start to remove the foam packing whilst carefully unrolling the screen across the frame. Unroll the screen and gently lift the extension tube at regular intervals to allow for further unrolling. Attach springs at regular intervals across the top of the screen to allow the screen to be held in position. Once unrolled, take extreme care to lower the metal core and extension tube from in front of the screen. At the bottom, work out from the center of the frame, pulling the screen down and lacing the screen to the frame rail. The screen must be stretched sufficiently to pull out any wrinkles in the surface. At the sides, work down from the top to the bottom, lacing the screen to the sides of the frame using every other eyelet. Do not stretch the screen, only pull it enough to make it straight. Return any static and moving masking cloth to its correct position, ensuring that any movable masking or curtains do not touch or rub against the screen at any time. Recheck the tension of the screen and, if necessary, retension it. The screen should only be retentioned from the bottom.